Let's go to Craig Sager. Craig. Well, Toby, 37 points was your final field goal over a highly contested double team that sealed the victory. You went over to Alvin Gentry and said, what do you think of that? That spread your arms and glided into the NBA Finals. All night we've been describing how brilliant your game was, but in your words, how do you think you played down the stretch? Yeah, I did pretty good. You know, I missed a couple easy ones there at the start in the middle of the fourth quarter, but um, you know, I was able to collect myself and knock down some big shots. Alvin Gentry enjoyed this moment. He enjoyed the series, the whole playoffs. He just came up to you a second ago and said, now, Kobe, that was terrific defense. How did you do it? Well, I just got a little separation, elevated, and knocked it down. Now, you go on to play the Boston Celtics. Two years ago, that team pushed you guys around. They're very physical with you. How is this team more equipped to handle that tough defense for Boston? Well, we'll see. You know, we'll see how much we matured. Um, you know, they challenged us extremely well in the finals a couple years ago. You know, now it's a test to see how much we've grown. This appeared to be an easy victory early in the fourth quarter until the flagrant foul by Sasha Vujicic seemed to ignite the Suns and their crowd as the leader of this team. What was your reaction to that incident? I was going to kill him. <laughs> what do you say to him now? Still going to kill him. <laughs> well, brilliant game. Don't do it before the finals. Just kidding, of course. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Myron. We welcome you back to Phoenix, Arizona, where it's time for Inside the NBA, presented by Hyundai. And right here, we'll send it over to Ernie Johnson, who's with the Western Conference champion, Los Angeles Lakers. Ernie. Yeah, thank you very much, Marv. Here with the champions, and here is Phil Jackson polishing the trophy even as we speak. Mitch Kupchak, the general manager, is here also, and, and a Laker legend, Michael Cooper, is here to do the honors in presenting this trophy to the Western Conference champions. Coop? Well, first of all, Ernie, we'd like to say congratulations to the Phoenix Suns and their organization for making having a fabulous playoff run, and to the Lakers for the third straight year, Coach Jackson, his coaching staff, uh, for winning the Western Conference championship. And Boston, you want us? Here we come. Mitch? What are the qualities that has this team going to the finals for the third straight year? Well, certainly experience, you know, is, is number one. We've got a team that's been together by and large for a long time as a group, and uh, they know what it takes to get here. And we withstood a heck of a comeback today, you know, by a wonderful team that really deserves to be here. My congratulations to Bob Sauber, uh, Steve Kerr, and, of course, Alvin Gentry. They have a great team. They deserve to do well. And our congratulations go out to you as well. And, and to you, Coach Phil Jackson. Uh, this was never in a really comfortable series, was it? Well, with a three-point shooting team like Phoenix, you really know that any lead's impossible. You can't sit on anything. And as they showed, we had an 18-point lead. They're right back in the game in the matter of minutes. You know, when we talk about a, a rematch from 2008 here, and the memories uh, not very good from the last time you saw this team in a, in a playoff series. What lingers? Well, I, I think we... we remember more anything losing on our home court situation which uh, you know we had some defensive lapses and they took advantage of it and beat us on our home court this year we have home court advantage we look forward to this uh, playoffs with great intensity i can only imagine thank you very much and congratulations coach and co-captain derek fisher is here um, what is said on the floor after a game like this after a series like this from player to player between the lakers and the suns uh, just congratulations on on a great season you know, in sports, somebody has to win, somebody's going to lose. And they put up a great fight. We played against a great team. And, uh, you know, we deserve to advance. Basically the same, along the same lines as, as when I asked the coach, as a guy who was on the floor in that series. And the last time you saw him, it was, a, uh, it was an ugly margin. Uh, what has stuck with you? Um, what we can say on camera yeah. is I'll agree with what my coach said. Uh, you know, losing that game on our home court. You know, we felt like really was a turning point. And uh, at the same time, we're not going to rest on the fact that we have home court advantage. Uh, but we're looking forward to getting this thing started on Thursday night. Then I'll get the off-camera answer in just a moment. These are the Western Conference champions for 2010, the Los Angeles Lakers. We send it back to Marv. All right, thank you, Ernie and Doug. As uh, we